workstation. This is all of our ingredients, as well as our wash, cleaned, and sanitized tubes. First thing you're gonna need is, of course, your tubes, something to mix your base in, and I'm trying something new this route, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing with this bowl. Um, you're gonna need to cover your workstation, and this is also something new I'm trying. I got some doggy pads. You get four in a pack. That's what they look like at the Dollar Tree. These really good because no matter what waste through them, it's not gonna mess up your um, surface area or whatever. So I, I like this. It's very, very cost efficient too because it's coming for four dollar and versus me using the um, the tablecloth, the plastic tablecloth that I was using. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, sanitize our hands and after we sanitize our hands, we are going to of course glove them. This is our base we're gonna need. This is the base that I have, um, you know, whipped up real quick just to test. Like I told you guys in the first video, I do test a lot of the products as far as formulation, um, you know, texture of things, how I like things to look, smell, and everything. So I like the aesthetics of this. So I tested it. I also let it sit to see if the sprinkles in it would like melt, dissolve, or bleed in the base, and it did not. So I'm happy about that. So glad I tested it. Um, this is our flavoring oil because we are going to be making our birthday soup gloss today as well as our boss gloss. So this is the oil that I made up. This is my very own fragrance oil. I mean, not fragrance oil, flavoring oil. Um, these bottles, like I said, I'm trying something new with these as well. This is what is new. This is new and this is called Smudge. This is something I came up with, um, and it is a cleaning solution for our gloss, to help clean our gloss and get it. You see how this bowl look? Okay, wait till we get finished. So this is Smudge, that's the name of it. This is how it looks. So we got our oils that are gonna be um, applied to our base, as well as you know our ingredients. So let's go ahead and sanitize his hands, glove them up, and let's get to working, okay guys? Okay, once again, I said I'm going to try something new. So here we are. We're going to be trying our gloss end of the stainless steel bowl with a hand mixer. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we reached the consistency that I like um, with the gloss kind of fast. But I'm going to do it with my hand um, for a little bit longer. See if I can get some of these bubbles out. And I want to make it just a little bit thinner. Like it's not as thick as it was when I first put it into the bowl. But I want to make it a little bit thinner. So we're going to put some more oil. And then we're going to mix by hand. And let's see how that turns out. I want to Okay, so after a lot more oil and a lot of mixing, hand mixing, we finally got it. So I see how that's just continuously falling even off the spoon. We like that. Okay, that's what we like to see. So our oil and everything is mixed. We're not going to add the flavoring yet because I'm splitting this gloss um, batch between two different um glosses like i said we're going to do the boss gloss and we're going to do the birthday suit today so um, i'm not going to be adding the flavor in yet actually i'm gonna let this sit overnight because since this is a clear gloss i want to get the bubbles out so the key to that is just letting it sit unstirred and covered um overnight so i have to see you guys tomorrow so that we can finish this up if this was like a colored gloss or anything else um or like a glitter glitter gloss then we can go ahead and proceed. This will be perfect. Um, no need to wait. But since we're doing a clear gloss and we want it to be clear and free of bubbles, we are going to let this sit. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Okay, so um, since this is what you guys came here to see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make another batch of um, 
gloss base the one that we just made with the bubbles like i said we gotta let it sit overnight so i'm going to just use that for our color gloss so so we can get these um glosses up and packaged and everything so um so we're gonna start over so let me sanitize my hands And when you're doing this, make sure you got on something you don't mind getting like messed up because it's gonna fuck your clothes up big time. Put our gloves on. It's a brand new pair of gloves. Okay, so we're gonna start again by pouring our oil. And I don't measure, I just know by how it looks. And we're gonna mix this by hand. We are not going to use the blender because I ain't got time to keep redoing this. So, see how it's loosening up with oil, but it's nowhere near what we need it to be. So, I don't got Babe to help me with this part because he usually do this part. So, that's why I was using the blender as a shortcut. But you see what shortcuts get you, you gotta start over. So, let me go ahead and mix this up and I'll be back. Okay, so I didn't have to show you guys how to mix the gloss base because I already did a video on how to make the perfect clear gloss. Okay, so we're gonna just get right on into this video and we are gonna get started. Um, this is not a tutorial. Y'all just watching me get ready um, for our launch date, okay? So, let's get into it. The city is my palace. 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 Jealous. The city is my palace. The city is my palace. Jealous. The city is my palace. We won't waste no time. We wanna know about it, y'all. Okay, so of course I got a lot more glasses to do, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna just stop here and I'm gonna show you guys um, how to clean your glasses um, with the smudge and then we're going to uh, label these glasses, okay? So as you can see, they like full of lip gloss all over them. So let me show you what the smudge does. All right, so first you wanna just wipe them down. It's still greasy and stuff, but just wipe it down. Okay, so they still got, you know, fingerprints on them, still oily. So let me show you how we kind of take care of that. Okay, you see how it's still oily? I'm gonna show y'all how we take care of this with a smudge. So what we are going to do, now that we wipe them down, we're gonna take some of our smudge. Okay. We're gonna cover the gloss tubes with it. It's not gonna hurt the gloss or the tubes in any kind of way. Got a really nice scent, smell like blueberries.
And look at that. Smudge and lip gloss free. Look how shiny those tubes are. Y'all, I'm telling you, when that lunch day hit, have those carts ready. Have those carts ready, okay? Turn the brightness down on the camera so y'all can get the full effect. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to slide these back over here now that they nice and clean. And I'm going to show y'all the smudge on the utensils. I'm going to turn the brightness back up. Okay. So this is the smudge on the utensils. Wipe them off first. If you ever worked with gloss base before, you know it's a mess. So now we're going to take our smudge and we're going to just coat it. Get something to wipe it down. You can use a rag or a paper towel. Residue free, okay? Let me do it one more time.
Look at that. Light and new. Like nothing was ever even on them, okay? So now let's clean up and let's get to labeling. I'm so in love. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's not focusing. So I can show y'all. It's not focusing, but it's so pretty. Of course, these are gonna be on uh, um, Instagram and TikTok, so you guys will see it there better. But these these are done, so our birthday suit glosses are complete, okay? Birthday suit glosses complete, so now we are gonna move on to Pretty and Paid and Dream. So, that's this. And if y'all know anybody doing it like this, let me know, okay? Because I feel like I was the first one to come up with this with the two different color sprinkles and then some at the bottom. So, I don't know. Let me know. So, let's move on now to Pretty and Paid, which is this pretty pink color. This is going to be part of our... Um, Okay, so we are back. I had to make some more or get some more gloss so we can make some more base. These are the ones that we have finished here so far. They're finished and labeled. So we got our birthday suit, our pretty and paid, and our dream. Okay, so now we are getting ready to make, I wanna do, I wanna see if I can get three more colors out of the base that I already have prepped. Um, and then I'm gonna make some more of this. You guys are, of course, going to watch. Um, I got more tubes laid out that have been cleaned, so let me go ahead and sanitize these with our alcohol. 
So while we're waiting on those to dry, let's mix up this base to mix this coloring in, our flavoring oil, and let's get back into it, okay? <laughs> this go around with the um relaunch um what i did notice that mixing with the hand mixer does not work and then pouring them in here with the pipette on the top does not work so if it ain't broke don't fix it we are going back to filling them up like this with the syringe like we've been doing so that's what we are going to do also i noticed these tubes i know i told you guys that the nudes um, and the mats are going to come in these two. However, they are very, very hard to fill. Like, it's no way to fill these completely to the top without, you know, getting air bubbles and the pipette getting stuck. So, I'm going to be sending those back to the vendor, but that is a no. So, all the tools are now going to come like this. Um, it's time to now clean it up and then I'm going to label these. I have to go print the labels out and I'm going to label them um, on camera. So we're going to put some music on. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to show y'all once again how the smudge works. Clean both of these pots off. Y'all going to watch me do that. All right, so first what you're going to do is you're going to wipe all this stuff off. You use a rag or a paper towel. I'm just going to use a paper towel because it's the closest thing I got to me. And I could just use it and throw it away. I don't have no towels in there. So you just wipe all of the base off. Now this base is going to waste. Just give whatever you're wiping down, whether it be your tubes or your utensils, you give it a good wipe down first, whatever you're going to be cleaning. This base is just a little bit oily, so that's why I made this. Okay, so we got our spatula. I don't know if you can see how like greasy it still is. It's like cloudy looking, so the spatula is wiped down. Let me wipe the bowl down. Um, you yeah, can see the bowl first. Probably before. white is there really green. Oh, all right so now that we got these two done we put our smudge we'll cover it bowl. Right, that's it for a minute while I clean this one off and I'm just showing you that it can work on any kind of surface. So this is, you know, just a steel bowl. 
and this is plastic so and that's rubber so i'm just showing you that it works on any item any surface except for like furniture and stuff like that so, but your utensils and stuff is good Probably be a lot easier with rags, but like I said, I don't have. I got a bunch of them, but I don't have them. Uh, yeah. so. Don't shoot me in the comments for all using all these textiles and the trees and all of that. We also got some on the outside. I'm going to let that sit while I'm doing this. but the spatula part is done. Okay, let me get some handle just it turned it white but it's not sticky or anything like that it just turned it white okay now, you see it you brought the gloss down to the bottom of the bowl so let's go ahead see how it's already breaking it grease down Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Clean, thick and thin. That's what I'm talking about. This is what the smudge is gonna do. So make sure the post notification bells on so you'll know when we launch. You can go ahead and get this off the website, okay? Yeah, like I had to come up with this because I'm like, what can I do to save money and to be more cost efficient? Because last time, man, babe, you um, like the Tupperware bowls and you had to throw them away. Like after so many uses and even though it was like a dollar, but it was a dollar a piece at the dollar store, a dollar for two or something like that. But you keep throwing them away and throwing them away and it just wasn't doing it. And then um, using the plastic, uh, using the plastic ware to stir and mix with 
so I found this um, little tongue uh, suppressors. I found those, or popsicle sticks, whatever you want to call them. But, um, you know, you got some dishes that you really need to part ways with. Some spoons and stuff like that. You can use those to mix your gloss up with and then get you some smudge and just clean it and just keep using them. You don't gotta throw nothing away. So, I'm happy, 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 happy about that. Saving money. but look at the inside. No grease at all. Okay, let me get this outside wipe down. Look at that. Y'all turn on post notification bells on. Y'all get ready for a relaunch date. Y'all just, y'all see it. Y'all see me putting in the work over here with our glosses. Y'all see me whipping it up. You see me cleaning it up. Like y'all see everything we got to offer this for around. So do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share this video, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about Shanice and Nicole. Come on over and join the clue crew as well as the Glossy Glam Cosmetics. Don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. They will be listed in the description box down below, okay? You guys, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.